are if you're like the rest of us you've heard tons of stuff about niche this niche that and you're still lost Welcome, my name is Jackie. In this video, I'm going to dive deep in niche marketing. More specifically, I'm going to talk about some of the common mistakes to avoid when finding your niche to create a marketing plan. Okay, so this information is great for you if you're if you got a little season in the game. If you're a seasoned coach or you're just starting out, this information will serve as your GPS and navigating through the competitive world of coaching it'll also help prevent you from getting lost in the crowd okay so how many of you have heard of google trends use your social media analytics um and other reports to perform market research raise your hand I know I have. I'm raising my hand because I know I have. I found that most business owners get frustrated when it comes to research. Um, either they don't tailor their market uh, to fit their their niche um, in their coaching business because they don't have uh, any data to properly perform research or they have the data and they can't make heads or tails of data. So just telling them, even though they've t attended classes and bought books, talking about, uh, that tells about uh, use Google Trends, use social media market, uh, not marketing, social media analytics and all these industry reports and you're like this stuff don't mean nothing to me I cannot read this listen I know I was there you know I mean I don't know how many pens how many pens and pencils I broke and notebooks that I notebooks that I've had that I've written all this information and I was still lost Somebody hoping that somebody threw me a lifeline, honey. Well, listen, this is your lifeline, and I am about to throw it out there to you. Only thing you have to do is tap into it, okay? So the first step in finding your niche is you have to understand your audience inside and out. You know the things like who are they, what their uh, what their pain points is, what solutions they're seeking, right? To take the time, and that way, if you know that information or even got a hint by using your own personal information by answering those questions, it'll help you when you performing your um your market research. Also, knowing which formulas to use will help you create create a marketing plan using your niche okay y'all make sure y'all write that down that's step number one step number one where people make mistake is in research step number two where people make uh mistakes when creating a marketing plan using their niche or doing niche marketing is when it comes to passion versus profit, let me say it again, passion versus profit. Yes, you've heard me. I did a video like prior to this one where I talked about how your, your passion can lead you to your purpose. However, however, listen closely, listen closely, come close. You hear me talking? Okay. While it's important that your niche, that you're passionate by your niche, do not forget your niche needs to be both popular and profitable, okay? And, and the same with your lead magnet. Because if, if they're not, if you haven't taken the time to do the research, um, do the research and figure out 
if what you created or what you're selling is just a passion product or you're trying to make a profit and it's profitable, listen, you might not make your goal. You may or may not make your goal. If you do make your goal, it may be difficult. Listen, I'm about to give y'all some hint. Pull your chair up, honey. Pull your chair up. You have to find a balance between your passion or your interest and in the market demand. Some ways that people find their passion and the profit is by incorporating those things that you love, that you're passionate about, and finding a way to make them profitable. And you do that through your marketing. Here's an example. How I love th that I'm seeing more uh, God-based coaches. They may be talking about uh, business. However, they are able to incorporate their faith, their beliefs to attract more believers like them. And they may, and because they have a passion for their the the God that they serve, they they manage to incorporate it in everything that they do, even in the titles of their programs or the courses that they have. But listen, it's important that you learn balance. And listen, and you and it's important that you find a popular and profitable niche listen i have a video a video that i did that i'm going to put somewhere in one of these corners y'all know how i do and down in the below down below in the description um that talks about finding a popular and and profitable niche just gonna give you a little tidbit so steve jobs and and steve uh Wasnick, I think that was his name, something like that. They co-founded Apple in 1977. Now, remember, it started in 1977, but in 1997, hardware, their hardware or Mac had caught up with the vision and the insights that the, the founders had for Apple. Not only did uh, the hardware catch up, they were able to catch the, the world up and people started running to Mac. Like Mac was one of the leaders because the strong campaign featuring things like think different slogan to they had to find a they had to find a go between. In my opinion, they were able to balance interest in or passion into profit what are the people looking for they looking for something different they're looking for something easy they're looking for something that allows them to do this that and that and they were able to do what tap into it so thing the third thing that uh, or common mistake that people make is when it comes to testing or evaluate testing and evaluating so once you've chosen a, a niche, um, it's testing time. You want to test different strategies because you may have been in the game um, a long time. Like when I started, I was doing financial coaching, but as time go went on, more and more uh, demand was for business coaching. But if I would have stayed in that same niche, I would not have been able to reach the audience that I have and help hundreds of people evolve their business, reach their business goals, um, develop their personal brand. So you have to learn to test and evaluate the data that you, you receive from the testing. Because what happens is, is that change, that uh that can create a different strategy. It can give you a hint when it's time to do something different, to evolve a different step, or maybe even step back. Um, and, 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 and it may be in your messaging. What messages you see that resonate with your target audience? All that is done through testing and evaluation.
Now, there you have it. Those are three steps. Now, y'all know I'm not going to just leave y'all out there and nothing and, and without more information to help you in finding your niche, your marketing niche, so that you can build, so you can grow your business. You can build on on the information, the data that you found through your market research, through finding a balance through profit, uh, between profit and, and passion, and testing and evaluation. Listen, I've created a great product for you that's going to help you um, avoid common mistakes that many brand new coaches make. You may have even made of your own, your own mistakes when it came to niche. I would love to hear some of the mistakes, some of the thoughts you had when you first began your coaching business. Post them down below. But listen, speaking of created a profitable and popular niche and lead magnet guide. In this guide, I personally walk you step-by-step step and find a popular and profitable niche and lead magnet. This will save you time and money because it allows you to take more time and focus on your marketing, focus on visibility, focus on client attraction, Focus on producing uh, satisfaction, win-win results for both you and your clients. This uh, niche and lead magnet guide uh, helps you in attracting qualified leads that will pay your prices. It also, in the name, it helps you create a lead magnet. It also allows you to spend more time nurturing your audience thus reaching your sales goal and you can purchase your popular and profitable niche and lead magnet guy by simply going to www.jackiemckeever.com forward slash links and the link will be down below in the description master your niche marketing today don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more tips on growing your coaching business.